Gradients Background Tutorial by Shisan. Here are the video contents. Searching for a color theme. Creating a gradient background. Using Photoshop. Using Illustrator. Contributing the file to Canva. Color theme. As you probably know, it is a selection of colors that are used for various artistic and design needs. Now let's search for a color theme. Go to your browser, double click to access. Type the color palette you like. Hit enter. Scroll down. Click the link. Search for color palette you like. Right click to save the image. Click save to download. Now you have a color palette. Creating a gradient background. Using Photoshop. Then contribute the gradient to Canva. Open Adobe Photoshop. Click Create New. Change the size to 1500 by 1500 and make sure the background is transparent. Click Create. Open File tab. Select Place Embedded. Select the color palette image. Click Open. Place it and click Check. Click the eyedropper tool. Select the colors from the image. Add a new layer. Hide the image. Click the brush tool. Select hard brush. Change size to 300. Lower the opacity to 0%. Select a color from swatches and start painting some strokes. Add another layer and select another color then paint. Just repeat the process. Go to Filter tab. Click Blur. Click Gaussian Blur. Make the radius 300 and click OK. Select the other layer and apply the same blur filter. Just repeat the process to other layers. Shift select the layers and drag to the group icon. Select the group and make a duplicate. Just repeat the process until the color darkens. Open the last duplicate group. Select the first layer. Go to Filter tab. Click Noise. Add Noise. Make a uniform 0.5% amount of noise. Click OK. Select the other layer and apply the same noise filter. Just repeat the process to other layers. Zoom in and out to see the noise. Go to File tab. Click Export. Select Quick Export as PNG. Choose a location and rename your file the save. Now you have a gradient background. On your browser, type canva.com then enter. Create a new design. 1500 by 1500. Select Uploads tab. Select Upload Media. Click Device. Locate your file and open. Check your file if it's ready for uploading. Go to Contributor Hub. Open your file location and minimize the window. Drag and drop to the hub. Add a title. Write the artist name. Add some keywords and you can add your brand keyword too for easy search when approved. Check the I am the owner of the content and submit. Congratulations you have submitted one paid item. Upload more. Creating a gradient background. Using Illustrator. Then contribute the gradient to Canva. Open Adobe Illustrator.
Click Create New. Make a 1500 by 1500 pixel size. Make sure it's in RGB color and 300 ppi. Click Create. Make your workspace in Essentials Classic. On File tab, click Place. Locate your color palette and open. Drop the image on the background. Select Eyedropper tool. Click on the color of your choice then add it as a new swatch. Do the same to the other colors. Select the image then delete. Click Rectangle tool and make a 1500 by 1500 rectangle. Click OK. Align it to center horizontally and vertically. Click Gradient. Click Freeform Gradient. Select a point. Change the color from your swatches. Do the same to the other points. You can drag the points anywhere on the rectangle to change its location. Once done, go to File tab. Click Export. Export for screens. Rename the artboard. Make sure you're saving it as a PNG file. Click Export Artboard. Now you have a gradient background. On your browser, type canva.com then enter. Create a new design. 1500 by 1500. Select Uploads tab. Select Upload Media. Click Device. Locate your file and open. Check your file if it's ready for uploading. Go to Contributor Hub. Open your file location and minimize the window. Drag and drop to the hub. Add a title. Write the artist name. Add some keywords and you can add your brand keyword too for easy search when approved. Check the I am the owner of the content and submit. Congratulations you have submitted one paid item. You can see your contributed files in the in review section. Here's the one done with Photoshop. And here's the one done with Illustrator. You can also see your files on your portfolio. Type canva.com forward slash portfolio. Hit enter. Here's the one done with Photoshop. And here's the one done with Illustrator. You can check your titles and keywords you typed. Let's check when did I submitted my contribution made in Photoshop. Click back. And now let's check when did I submitted my contribution made in Illustrator. Click back. It's still in review.